Hi everyone, we are students part 5, class M from Faculty of Applied Science from the ITM Tapah. And in this video, we're going to talk about thermoluminescent dose. Thermoluminescence is light emission caused by moderate heating of a solid previously exposed to ionizing radiation. It is a stimulated emission process occurring when the thermally excited emission of light follows the previous absorption of energy from radiation. A thermoluminescence dosimeter is a passive radiation detection device that is used to measure ionizing radiation exposure by measuring the intensity of visible light emitted from a sensitive crystal in the detector when heated. The intensity of light emitted is measured by the LD reader and it is dependent upon the radiation exposure. Hi, I'm Nurshan Zahzani Binti Saliman. I'm going to talk about the principles of TLD which is how TLD works. First of all, when the ionizing radiation passes through the detector which is the chip, the chip will absorb the radiations and its structure will change slightly. Number two, in thermoluminescence materials, electrons may reach the conduction band when they are excited, as examples in ionizing radiation. But in this case, the defects of the material are exist and the impurities are added to trap the electrons in the band gap and hold them there. Number 3. The trapped electrons represent the stored energy for the time that electrons are held and the amount of energy are dependent upon the radiation's exposure. Number 4. To obtain the dose received, the TLD chip must be heated in this TLD readers. The trapped electron return to the ground state and emit photon of visible light. The amount of light emitted relative to the temperature is called the glow curve. Finally, which is number 5, when the readout is complete, the TLD will be annealed at high temperature. This process essentially zeroes the TL materials by releasing the trapped electrons. Then the TLD are ready for use. Moving on, there is a wide application of TLD which is in the uh, for example, in the medical dosimetry, personal dosimetry, and also in environmental monitoring. So, for the first one, is in the medical dosimetry, which is it is an absorption and optimization dose delivery and medical treatments. It also has a variety of potential applications in uh, radiotherapy, dental diagnostic, radiology, and so on. And the next one is in the environmental monitoring, which is that uh, the system is applied to the environmental monitoring program near the nuclear installation. Uh, the last one is the personal dosimetry, which is it is used to measure the external radiation exposure. Uh, for example, to those who work that is exposed to the radiation. Uh, and while in the in internal exposure, it is observed by measuring the presence of nuclear substance that is in the body or that is excreted by the body. Hi, so I will proceed on the advantage and disadvantage of thermoluminescent dose. There are a few advantages of thermoluminescent dose. First, thermoluminescent dose are able to measure a greater range of doses in comparison with film badges. It means TLDs are better than film badges and it can measure a greater range. Secondly, doses from TLDs can be easily obtained, so it is easier to use the TLDs compared to other. Thirdly, TLDs can be read on site instead of being sent away for developing. So, the doses can be known straight away without need to run another complicated step to know the reading. And lastly, the TLDs are easily usable. However, TLDs also have its own disadvantage. The first disadvantage of TLDs is the readout process effectively zeroes the TLD. Next, each dose cannot be read out more than once. It means it can only read once only. I'm Iza Manzara and I'm going to continue for the conclusion part. When radiation interacts with the human body, there are no perceptible sensations and usually no immediate effects. We could therefore receive an amount of radiation that could injure our tissues severely without realizing it at the time. To protect ourselves and others, we must use and rely upon instruments to qualify and quantify radiation measurements. That is why TLD is created. But since this apparatus is difficult to construct, so it is considered impractical for clinical 
dosimetry. There are some instructions for a proper wear of TLD badge. First, load the card properly in the TLD cassette. Name and personal number should be in the front, visible from outside. Second, use the LD card of the valid service period. Third, handle the TLD bash with care and finally, store the bash in radiation-free place when not in use.